Hello guys, welcome to my channel Teach Something and in this video tutorial, I will gonna show you how to fix a svchost.exe uh, running in uh, task manager and which is caused to uh, use a high CP, uh, CPU uh, uh, CPU uh, performance. So how to fix this type of error? Let's start before starting of the video. I humbly request you, please subscribe my YouTube channel for more updates. So let's start it. Okay guys, uh, when you go to your uh, start menu and try click and go to your uh, task managers and you can go to your uh, details option then you can see that uh, uh, some app, uh, uh, applications as a SVC host dot ex uh, x e uh, is a uh, uh, running and uh, which is caused to high used a high CP you uh, so how to uh, uh, fix this refer first of all right click and go to your uh, uh, go to services and after doing this that <coughs> go to services that after do, uh, doing this that right click and go, uh, click on a stop so you can uh, one by one you can uh, complete this procedures and after doing this that you can uh, go to your uh, uh, search box and type a run and go to your uh, run command and uh, type a um, re redirect so open a registry editor and after doing this that you can go to your uh, um, uh, h a key local machine and expand it and after doing this that you can go to your uh, uh, systems okay guys you can expand it and after doing this that you can go to your uh, control, uh, current control set and after doing this that you can click on a control okay guys after doing this that you can uh, this uh, box you can go to your select a svc host uh, split uh, threshold kb so double click in it and you can see that uh, it's a value at this uh, time is edit uh, edit is a uh, 3 a double zero double zero so uh, first of all uh, after doing this that opening that you can click on a uh, go to your start menus and uh, open a calculator and after uh, opening a calculator okay guys first of all you can enter uh, your uh, computer system rams uh, in my case is a 16 uh, sorry uh, in my case is a 16 gp i can use this if you are a, you know uh, you know that so which you can uh, in, uh, ram uh, in your system is installed then you can uh, go to your uh, uh, setting section uh, of your system and go to your uh, about section then uh, you can see that uh, install it ram in your uh, pc so in my case is a uh, uh, 16 gp you can um, i enter a 16 gp if you are a user 8 G, uh, gp ram you can 8 uh, write a 8 if you are using a 4 then you can 4 uh, so in my case i use a 16 gp ram so i uh, click on a uh, enter a 16 gp uh, ram after that uh, multiply is a uh, it's a uh, multiply 1024 and in result that once again multiplied at 1024 so this is a uh, uh, copy it and uh, after doing this that you can set uh, this value in it and uh, remove the commas and after that click on a ok button and uh, after doing this that you can uh, restart your uh, computer after doing this that you can once again uh, go to your uh, go to your search box and type a run after run command is that you can ev type a ev t v w r ev even uh, var v w r and click on a ok button now it's opening that after opening it that you can uh, go to your uh, windows logs expand it and go to your uh, applications after that clear logs click on a clear logs clear it after that once again go to your uh, one by one you can select it as security click on a clear logs and clear go to your uh, setup section clear logs and click on clear and after that you can go to your uh, systems and after that clear logs and click on it and forward events click on it clear logs 
after doing this step restart your computer and i'm sure that uh, you can face uh, solve this issues uh, to um, svch host.exist uh, running in your uh, um, background processing apps uh, which is cost to use a high cpu uh, so fix this type of issue through this uh, methods i hope uh, this video is helpful for you thank you for watching and please subscribe my youtube channel